Greetings. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Torkorev shotgun, the bullpup variant, not the AR one. So with that being said, we're going to get into the video. So what today's video is about is a few things that you need to know before you purchase one of these. Now, this is a good shotgun, but this is more of an advanced or a medium shotgun, meaning that it's not for a person who's never had a shotgun before because in order for this gun to work properly, it's several things that you have to do. First things first, this particular shotgun, you need to break it in. If you see on YouTube, a lot of people have these and they jam. It's for a reason. It's dry, no oil in it because it's brand spanking new. And because of that, it's prone to jam, which it will a lot. Now, you can mitigate that by the type of ammo that you use. However, when you break it in a shotgun, you want to use different ammo. But when I first got the shotgun, this ammo, these two types work perfectly. This is slug self-defense ammo with buckshot. And this one is straight hunting ammo. And it's straight buckshot. And this is regular bird shot or target ammo, the Winchesters, which will jam every single one of them. All right, test two. All right, that did it. All right, didn't cycle. Cycle that. All right, let's see what she'll do this time. Hold on. Fire. Hold on. All right. Okay. What I said. I think us three gotta use the break in with them. Of so course. the first couple rounds. Let's keep trying. That's just what you got to do with shotguns. You got to break them in. I and once you break them in. I will load it. Now I'll oil those. So let's try them without oil and see what they do. Well, once you do that, it should be fine. Cause it's getting all up inside the mag well. Actually, no, I don't hit the target. You go closer. I'm making sure you went up close, okay? Yeah. I moved out. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Hung up. No. Hung up again. Cycle. Hung up. All right. That's it. It's empty. I got one more in here. No, you don't. Oh, yes, you do. All right. Cycle the good that time. Empty. All right. Wait. Wait, I don't want my drink to get shot up by brass. Well, not brass, but. I sprayed a little oil in it. Okay, it should cycle better then. All right. Fire one. Cycle. All right. You 
good. You good. But the way that you mitigate that is by lightly oiling it with 3-in-1 oil. You put 3-in-1 oil all on the plastic and it seems to feed just fine when you do that. Another thing you want to do is pay attention to is the magazine. You want to make sure that you oil a little bit on the lip of the magazine when it goes in. And you want to make sure that the rounds are seated properly. One of the biggest reasons why these guns jam is because people don't push the shells all the way to the back of the magazine. If you don't do that, it will jam every single time and it will load the first round, but the second round will jam. And here's another thing that you need to do with this is inside here, you want to take three in one oil and you want to oil all this really good. Just don't be afraid to drench it because when you're breaking in these, it's dry. It's not going to hurt anything if you use three in one oil because it's non-flammable. It won't catch on fire, which I really like three in one oil because it won't catch on fire, obviously. Another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you oil all of the bolts, everything like that to make it work properly. This is a smooth bore shotgun, so that means that you do not want to use the Sabbat type of slugs. You want to use the rifle slugs. Rifle slugs are designed to go in smooth bore, which this shotgun is. Now, here's another thing you want to use. If you're going to use it for self-defense or hunting, it comes with two different pistons for recoil buffer pistons that are in here. So I have the regular one in here, which is meant for self-defense, meaning that it's not meant for high power loads. I think an inch and a quarter, not inch and a quarter, an ounce and a half or an ounce and a quarter is all the powder that this particular buffer in here can handle. Any higher than that, you need to replace the springs, not the spring. You need to replace the buffer with the high power buffer, which is not in here because I'm using this for self-defense and the high power loads will go through everything. If you wanna just not being concerned about what you hit, you use the high power loads. But that's mainly meant for hunting, not self-defense. It's not really suitable for self-defense because the loads that you're gonna use for hunting are vastly more powerful than your self-defense loads. Like this one is a hunting load. And you can see the difference. It's not even close on how much more powerful this one is versus these two. I have shot this one in here, but because of this particular ammo seller and Bellert, it doesn't show how many ounces it is. I know this is like a one ounce low and it's like a, a, um, a one and a quarter ounce low, I believe for the shotguns. Nope, one and one eight ounce which are both in acceptable specs for this particular shotgun without having a higher power load. If you use those high power loads in the low power spring, you can damage it. You may not, but you can, just to let you know. It also has these rails here. Now, something to keep in mind, this is all plastic. When you clean it, I wouldn't use any real harsh solvents. It should be fine, but just bear in mind, you know, Something you need to pay attention to when it's made out of plastic. It's things like that that you want to pay attention to with this particular shotgun. And if you are somewhat familiar with firearms in general and shotguns, this shotgun will be fine for you. But if you never owned a shotgun before, you might want to breach a barrel, double barrel, or maybe a pump shotgun. Because those shotguns are still mainly mechanical. It doesn't matter. They're not going to jam because all of the actions are from like a pump action or you opening the breech and that's all practically mechanical, right? It's not going to jam because of that reason. With this being semi-automatic, it can jam. So that's just something you need to bear in mind and it's critical that you break it in properly or it won't function and if you're using this for self-defense it won't function it's not going to do you any good if you get killed because your shotgun is not working now 
Why would you want to have a shotgun for self-defense? Well, a shotgun is the best weapon for self-defense at a close range known to man. You're not going to get anything better. It's better than a pistol, and it's definitely better than an SBR, short barrel rifle. It doesn't come in... It doesn't even come close between the power that you can have with this versus say an AR pistol. It's similar. I mean, like some of the AR pistols might be only like this long, but this isn't really that long. It's probably about closer to maybe a SBR. But here's the thing you got to understand about the shotgun. You have a lot more choices for ammo. So if you want to have non-lethal ammo, you can have this non-lethal ammo. And they have like, instead of having metal buckshots, they have rubber balls in it, which is more safer if you want to go to non-lethal route. And the best thing to do then in that case is color coat your mag at the bottom so you know which rounds you're using. But that way, you don't really have to worry about leasing the southern states prosecution as much as you may have to worry about with some of the other loads because your intent was not to kill a person. It was intent to wound a person, but that's not really an issue in the southern states. If somebody attacks you unprovoked, they get whatever they get. That's kind of how it goes. But shotgun's perfect weapon for that. In self-defense scenarios, if you ever see some of the videos where people are getting attacked, the purpose of having buckshot is to make it more easier for you to hit your target so if in the tactical situation and you need it then it's better to have buckshots but that's pretty much it like i said if you oil it properly and take the time to load it properly the shotgun will function perfectly for you it's just going to take a couple of seconds and to really do it right, even if it jams, eventually once it's broken in properly, it'll fire all the, the rounds without any issue. Like I said, the first time these guys were jamming, but now none of them jam. But these two never jam. The more higher end loads didn't have any issues with these guys jamming. And it's probably something to do with the way the shells are designed and built. Because if you look at it, this these shells are a little longer. And this is all brass where there's steel. Brass it seems to kind of function better. But hopefully this helps you. And if you want to get one of these, they'll set you back about, I think about around 300 bucks. They're not a bad shotgun to have. It's pretty good, pretty cool looking. And you might like it. Now, if you see any other thing here that you like, let me know in the video. I'll make a video on it. I'm experimenting some stuff with the algorithm, trying to break through and kind of improve my content. So let me know the things you like and don't like or what you want to see if it involves watches or guns, since that's the theme of my channel, gun and watches. So, but, um, I already like some knives or whatever. With that being said, I will see you later. And thanks for watching my video.